See now the topic is capsule. See how we can manufacture the capsule. See the capsule can be prepared from the skin, pork skin or calf skin. If we have taken the skin, we need we need to treat the skin with acid. Then we will get collagen. If we have taken the bone, then we need to treat with base. In the bone, letter B is there. Here treated with base. Then same thing we will get the collagen. So once we got the collagen, then from the collagen we will get the gelatin upon the hydrolysis. Now this gelatin is two types. One is type gelatin and gelatin B. Also we can call it as a type A. A nothing but acid treated gelatin. If you have treated that base treated, then we will get <coughs> type B gelatin. Next, what is the isoelectric point of type A gelatin? They have asked in the GPAT. That is pH range. See, at pH range, the gelatin can show both positive and negative charge. Next one is, this type A gelatin, it will give the elasticity. See this. This is a type A gelatin that will give elasticity, plasticity and clarity to the shell. Clarity nothing but clearness, elasticity, nothing but flexibility and plasticity can be imported by type A gelatin. If you have taken type B gelatin, it is a base treated one. Isoelectric point is 4.7, means at 4.7 pH it will show both positive and negative charges. Next one is it will give, it will form tough, it will form tough. tough Film, I mean strong film, but that can be easily broken. That can be easily broken. So this is the property of type A gelatin and type B gelatin. Hence, we can use both combination of type A and gel type A and type B gelatin for the manufacturing of capsules. Next, what are the characteristics of this gelatin? Is it contains iron content, iron content less than 15 parts per million. Next, what is the bloom strength range is 150 to 200 grams. Next one is viscosity is 25 to 45 millipoise. Next one is capsule size. See, hot gelatin capsule size that is 0. How much ml of volume we can fill means 1.36. If it is double zero, then how much volume of liquid we can fill? 0 0.95. It is zero means. <coughs> 0 0.75. See, this 0 is most commonly used in the pharmacy for the pharmaceutical purposes. 0 is most commonly used for the pharmaceutical purposes. Next one is <coughs> capsule size is 1, then we can we need to fill 0 0.55 ml. If it is 2, then 0 0.4 ml. If it is 3, 0 0.3 ml. If it is 4, then 0 0.25. If it is 5, then it is 0 0.15 ml of liquids can be filled into the different capsule size. And this triple zero, double zero, majorly used for the veterinary purposes. See, this is the size range. See, this is triple zero, this is double zero. Next one is zero sized capsule. Next one, next one is two. See, in this hot gelatin capsule, we can fill liquids, semi solids. And solids. See if you want to fill the powder, then how much mg means 1000 mg of powder can be filled in triple zero. Next in the double zero, 750 mg of powder. In the zero, we can fill the 500 mg of powder. In the one, we can fill 400 mg. In the two, we can fill 300 mg of powder. This is about the hot gelatin capsule sizes. Now, soft gelatin capsule size. See, soft gelatin capsule size is round, oval, and oblong. See, in the round, we can fill 9 mini. In the oval, we can fill 16 mini. In the oblong, we can fill 20 mini. See, 1 mm is equal to 16 mini. See, here 9 mini means approximately 0 0.5 ml we can fill. 16 mini means approximately maximum 1 ml we can fill. Here, 1.2 or 1.3 ml of liquid can be filled into the oblong one. See, this is about the sizes of hot gelatin and soft gelatin capsules. 
So next one is what are the materials that is responsible for the see here hot gelatin capsule. See what is the moisture content in a hot gelatin capsule is 12 to 15 percent. See the moisture content is always in a controlled manner. See if the moisture content is less than 12 to 15 percent, then the gelatin will become brittle. If the moisture content is greater than 12 to 15 percent, then the gelatin will become sticky nature. See formulation ingredient, it will contain gelatin. Gelatin is a self-forming agent. Next one is titanium dioxide, it is a opacifying agent, protect the drug from the light. Next one is sulfur dioxide. See it is act as a preservative because gelatin is hydrophilic in nature, it can retain the water. If it contains water responsible for the mi microbial growth, hence definitely we can use the preservatives. So what are the things can be filled into the hot gelatin capsule? Nothing but we can fill solids, semi-solids and liquids. Next one is soft gelatin capsule, also we can call it soft gel. The moisture content is very less in case of soft gelatin capsule. Nothing but 6 to 10 percent. If it is below 6 to 10 percent, then what will happen means it will become brittle in nature. If it is more than 6 to 10 percent, then it is become sticky in nature. Formulation ingredient, see it will contain, see soft gelatin, it will contain plasticizer. What is the role of plasticizer? Nothing but that is responsible for maintaining the flexibility, flexibility of the field. See if it is a gelatin, if it is gelatin, like this, there is a presence of, there is a presence of plasticizer. That is responsible for the flexibility of the gelatin. by retaining the water. See what are the things can be filled into the soft gelatin, nothing but semi-solids and liquids. We cannot fill the solids in soft gelatin capsules. Next one is hardness of the shell. See if you are using the plasticizer, that is glycerin here. See what are the different kinds of plasticizer we can use means glycerin, sorbitol, more preferably used, next polyethylene glycol, next one is polypropylene glycol. Not poly, here just polyethylene glycol, propylene glycol. Or they see the 0.4% of glycerin and 1% of gelatin, then it will get, can be used in hot and humid areas. Hardness of shell is if it is medium, it contains 0.6% of glycerin, 1% of gelatin, it can be used in the temperate areas. Next one is. Hardness of shell is soft, it contains 0.8 ml of 0.8 glycerin, 1% of gelatin. It can be used in cold dry area. See, this is a hard gelatin capsule. See, this is a hard gelatin capsule and then gelatin along with titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is a opacifying agent, it will prevent the entry of light from the environment. Next one is plasticizer. See, this is a plasticizer that contains water. By retaining the water, plasticizer that retaining along with water, so it will responsible for the maintaining the flexibility of the cell. Flexibility of the gelatin cell can be maintained with the help of plasticizer. Next one is manufacturing of gel hot gelatin. See how we can manufacture it. First one is dipping. Now we need to dip the gelatin into the so uh, we need to dip into the gelatin solution after dipping into the gelatin so gelatin solution then next step is spinning after spinning spinning nothing but this process we can call as spinning next one is drying after the drying it will comes to the stripping once the stripping process is completed next cutting we need to cut the gelatin once the cutting has done next joining so this is just brief outline about the manufacturing of hot gelatin capsule they have asked in the GPAT examination. Next one is what are the different kinds of apparatus can be used for the filling of hot gelatin and soft gelatin capsule. See acophil is there, acophil is responsible for the filling of powders into the hot gelatin capsule. 
next one is off ligger and call wo is there a wo that is responsible for the filling of thixotropic liquids filling of thixotropic liquids in hot gelatin capsule next one is genesi or meco for also we can call it formatic see meco for we need to remember it can it has co co nothing but responsible for the filling cohesive powders into the hot gelatin capsules next one is soft gelatin capsule filling apparatus see aqua gel see aqua fillings fillings for hot gelatin gel is for soft gelatin filling of powders filling of powders in soft gelatin capsules next one is rotary day see rotary day is responsible for the filling of liquid in soft gelatin capsules next rotofill rotofill is for filling the pellets very important rotofill is responsible for the filling of pellets roto sort sort nothing but separate see <coughs> roto sort is responsible for to sort the filled capsule nothing but to separate the filled capsules roto way nothing but to weigh the capsules next one is roto grave roto grave nothing but imprinting if you want to print the letter a or letter or anything any company brands onto the gelatin shell then we can use the roto grave imprinting on the empty capsules we can call it a roto grave next one is very cap see very cap it is e or ic nothing but dielectric constant what is the very role of very cap nothing but to measure the dielectric constant next one is ervika kia see ervika kia that is responsible for the de dusting and polishing mission it is responsible for the de dusting and polishing mission next one is pm60 p nothing but polishing and m nothing but mission p60 is a polishing mission for cleaning and for cleaning and polishing mission so this is about the capsules